Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows has a feature called Multiplane Overlay Support, also known as MPO. And this can be supported by the Windows Display Driver model WDDM 1.3 and later drivers. So, and that also means your later and latest AMD and NVIDIA drivers. And uh, in case you're unaware, uh, it was introduced starting with Windows 8.1. So Microsoft rolled out a Multiplane Overlay Support quite a couple of years ago. And um, in case you're unaware what it actually does, um, MPO allows for multiple frame buffers to be composited using fixed function hardware in the display controller rather than using graphics or compute shaders for composition. So basically MPO, multi, no, multi-plane overlay support, can bring um, the following benefits. So it can decrease your GPU and CPU workload. So it can lessen to a certain degree uh, the workload placed on your graphics processing unit and your central processing unit's workload. Now, although it can bring those benefits, um, the feature is known to cause issues. And um, there are now reports, though, that for some users, disabling MPO in the operating system can actually resolve issues that include stuttering, black screen or white screen issues, flickering, that's in Windows, and as well as in um, well-known browsers like Google Chrome and the Microsoft Edge web browser. And this sounds very familiar to some graphics issues that I have posted on previously over the last couple of months that were caused by NVIDIA and AMD GPU display drivers. So if you have experienced any issues and they are not resolved yet, then disabling the MPO um, support in Windows, especially on Windows 11 version 22H2, may resolve uh, those graphics issues as mentioned. Now, um, uh, disabling MPO involves editing the registry. So if you are comfortable to edit, to edit the registry in Windows, then what we need to do is head over to the Start menu, right-click on that, click on Run, enter RegEdit, click on OK, and this will open up the Windows Registry Editor. Now, like I always do suggest, uh, before editing the registry, just export the registry. Uh, it only takes a couple of seconds, really, in most cases. And if you do fiddle and something goes wrong, you can come back and import that back up just as a quick safety net. Now, we first of all need to head over to the key, H key local machine. So head to H key local machine and open and expand that key. Then open up and expand the software key. And then head down and do the same with uh, the Microsoft key. And... In the Microsoft key, we need to scroll down until we get to Windows. So you're going to have to scroll down quite a bit until you get to the W's. And here we go, Windows, and do the same and expand the Windows key. And then look for the WDM key. Now, what you need to do now is you need to right-click on the, w, uh, the DWM key. So right-click on DWM. And then you need to create a new DWORD 32-bit value which will open up in the right-hand side pane. And then we need to uh, rename and call that value um, overlay test mode. So I'm just going to paste that in, but I will actually leave uh, detailed instructions uh, in the description as to how you can actually edit this in the registry, if that would be of help and benefit. So you need to rename that new value you've created to overlay test mode, as mentioned. And then after you've renamed that to overlay test mode, you need to modify the actual D word value. So I would just write, uh, sorry, I would just double click on that. And then the value data needs to be changed um, from zero, which is default, to um, basically seven zeros and a five. So you need to enter seven zeros at first. So that's zero, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's you enter seven zeros and then five. So that's zero, 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 five. And once you've renamed that value data, you click on OK. And then you would have to X out of your registry. And then what I would do and suggest is just restarting your computer, which will then apply those registry changes. And once you've restarted your computer, there are reports now that um, disabling that MPO as shown in the registry can resolve those issues that include stuttering, black screen or white screen issues or flickering um, or general display issues uh, in the Windows operating system and some of those browsers like Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. Now, for whatever reason, it doesn't resolve your 
um, display issues. You can actually reverse the whole process and restore MPO uh, in, in case you have any problems after changing that registry value. So what you need to do if uh, you are, if changing the registry value has caused um, issues is just head back to the same value and key um, in the registry. And all you need to do now is you just need to click on overlay test mode, right click and actually delete that whole value click on yes and once again once you've deleted that value just x out of the registry and then restart your device and that should restore mpo in case you have encountered any problems or issues after changing that registry value but according to um, recent reports there are users now numerous users actually who are saying that disabling uh, the uh, multiplane overlay support uh, in windows can resolve those issues as mentioned in this video so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.